to set up the green screen and weather in Studio One. Uh, this is the camera we're going to use for this. This is the SDX900. Power it on. There's a power switch at the bottom of the camera for the AC power and then the actual camera control itself. Uh, and we need to bring this all the way out into the middle of the floor. Let's bring the wires. And for best effect, this will work well if it's all the way over here and basically even with the end of the railing for the railing of the ramp in Studio One. We also want to be centered on the T. There's a T in the middle of the floor where our weather person or green screen subject will stand. We want the camera pretty much centered on that point. All right, to set the camera for the best chroma keying possible, uh, we want to turn on an ND filter. We want to set it to ND filter 2. Just spin the wheel until you get to the 2. And then for our color filter, we want it on B, which it actually is. If it wasn't, we would just spin that. Okay. Uh, on the camera control unit um, or the paint box, um, we want to open the iris all the way. So open the iris all the way to about a 1.4 or whatever it gives us. Um, we also want to turn the shutter speed on at 120. So there's our shutter control. We want to turn that on at 120. We also want to gain up 3 dB. So we'll hit the gain up so that here it says 3. Okay, and that's our setting there. Iris all the way open, shutter on at 120, gain up to plus 3. This is an easy way to set up the green screen. Uh, again, the green screen in Studio One is a curtain. Uh, we're using spring clamps on the four corners of the whiteboard that are behind the curtain area. Uh, pulling it nice and tight, not too tight that when we clamp it, it rips in any way, shape, or form, but just tight enough to smooth out all the wrinkles. Uh, when we do the chroma key, uh, most of the wrinkles down at the bottom and on the extreme edges won't be seen. Or plugging in a microphone for your talent, you'll want to use an XLR cable and plug into input number two. So make sure that you go right into input number two with your XLR. Also while you're here, you want to make sure that the Studio One program is connected via the BNC cable to the large monitor in Studio One. Just follow the cable and make sure that's where it goes. Depending on where your talent needs to look, you might need to move the monitor into a better position for them. We've found that it works very well if the monitor card actually blocks the doorway uh, and uh, gives the talent something to see that's about halfway between the camera and the cart. Just make sure when you move it that you don't have any cables being excessively stretched. Be very careful, nice and easy. And this is probably a good spot to start. You can make adjustments from there for whatever the talent needs. Since we plugged into mic two down on the studio floor, we want to make sure that mic two is up and we do a proper level check uh, for that audio of our talent in front of the green screen. To turn on the lights in studio one that you need for the green screen, you have to go to the circuit breaker in the closet. Uh, and uh, basically you're looking for all the ones tagged in blue. Uh, lights number two and nine, when we turn them on, we'll light the green screen, that'll wash the green screen. Uh, lights number seven and eight are the backlights for our talent. Uh, light number 19 is our key light, and light number 22 is our fill. Once you do that, the lights will be set. In control room one, you have to uh, set two different uh, program outputs. One is the 6x1 router you want to set to program. And then on the switcher itself, you want to set program to digital effect. This will bring up the Globecaster on switcher program. And this will allow it to pass through to the rest of our facility. For your Globecaster settings, the Globecaster is going to do the chroma key. A couple things you have to check. A couple things you have to check. Uh, you want to make sure on key P and key, these buses, you pick the input that you want to chroma key with. In our case, it's going to be camera one. Select camera one in both places. Uh, next, you're going to set the program bus to whichever background that you want to use. Uh, in our case, uh, we're going to use a frame store, and I'm going to grab some clouds, bring it right down to the frame store, and there's my frame store. Uh, you're going to do a chroma key 
so you're going to look at uh, the key settings here and choose instead of mix, you're going to choose normal and double click the key color area and that will give you the color type to key. Um, so we want to make sure it's on manual. We want to make sure that the expanded option is selected. Uh, if the green screen in Studio One, the hue is 216. The width is somewhere in the vicinity of 40 to 50. The low saturation is somewhere between 10 and 30. So in this case, 14 is fine. And the softness will depend on our subject and how harsh the key needs to be. This may need some tweaking when we have our person step in. Um, but something under 100 is usually the best option. Um, if those are all okay, we can close that. And uh, if all those settings are where they need to be, uh, we have, uh, there's our chroma key. Uh, we're using a music stand as the stand-in, but you can see that the clouds are definitely behind our subject rather than the standard green screen that we'd normally see. You can see that the key is pretty good. Um, some areas will be a little dirtier than others, especially areas if uh, the hair isn't quite all together. Um, or if you're wearing shiny clothing, and of course, if you're wearing green, that will be a problem too. So we have some templates pre-built uh, in a folder in the Globecaster or a bin, uh, in the stills bin under Rowan and TV1. We've got a five-day forecast, and we've got a right now uh, report. Uh, to use those, just drag them into whichever frame store that you want to use, and they'll update. Um, you can have Photoshop running at the same time and make changes. Uh, all these are custom layers uh, that you can change along with uh, different icons for different weather patterns. You can make changes, save it, and then it'll update uh, in the Globecaster without you having to re-import or anything to that effect. Um, so that's a very easy way to make the weather graphics. Um, maps are up to you, uh, and you can always customize anything that you'd like. Uh, as long as you save it in the same folder, it's easily accessible through Globecaster and you can use it. Um, once you set up your key, as you can see on program, we've got our music stand keyed over the weather right now graphic. That's live. Uh, we now need to route this into Studio 2 if we want it live. Uh, to route Studio 1 into Studio 2, uh, you go to the router. Previously, we had used uh, the top row to change the LCD display on the floor. Now we're going to use the bottom row to change the switcher router input. Okay, so we're going to choose Studio 1 and assign it to the switcher router input. It's blinking, so I'm going to hit Take to commit. And then down here on the switcher, I'm going to find the input marked as router. Here it is, and I'm going to bring that up on program. And that will bring our weather forecast with chroma key on the program. So if you are set, uh, you've got your lights, You've got your audio, everything is clipped in, you've done your level checks, you've got your key. While the green screen is behind you in real life, you've got some sort of graphic or weather map keyed for you on the monitor on the floor. So uh, with the camera in front of you, you can address the camera and kind of see out of the corner of your eye the screen and kind of see where you need to position yourself uh, as well as reference different things on the screen. Uh, in the control room on the Globecaster, someone will change the graphic for you to the next graphic uh, so that you can go through all the different graphics that you need to go through. Um, you can also address the audience directly um, and step off to the side and give that illusion of, I'm looking at the graphic. In reality, I'm looking at nothing. Uh, but I can say, I'm looking at the graphic, and I can say, back to you at the desk.